From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Wednesday, November 18th, 2015. In the news, staff with the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission are holding public scoping meetings in five Alaska communities relating to the Alaska LNG project. Those meetings are in preparation for the environmental impact statement. Tomorrow, the meetings move to Anchorage and here in Fairbanks at the Morris Thompson Cultural and Visitors Center. Staff will answer questions from the public starting at 5 with the meeting beginning at 6. Those scoping meetings are designed to give Alaska residents a say in shaping the project. Alaska Governor Bill Walker says refugees seeking to come to the U.S. must go through a stringent process. Since Friday's terror attacks in Paris, some governors have questioned U.S. plans to accept more Syrian refugees, concerned that terrorists might use the refugees as cover to sneak across the borders. In a release, Walker acknowledged the federal government controls resettlement programs. Walker's spokeswoman Katie Marquette says the governor wants to be kept apprised of refugee relocations in Alaska. And another major oil company is abandoning, abandoning its plans to drill in the Arctic Ocean off the northwest coast of Alaska. Statoil announced yesterday it's giving up 16 of its leases in the Chukchi Sea. That announcement comes on the heels of a similar decision by Royal Dutch Shell PLC to abandon drilling in U.S. Arctic waters. Shell cited disappointing exploratory results and a challenging and unpredictable regulatory environment in offshore Alaska. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Today, light snow in the morning, isolated snow showers in the afternoon, highs 5 to 10 below. Tonight, partly cloudy, lows around 20 below. Then tomorrow, mostly cloudy with highs in the lower teens above. Extended outlook, mostly cloudy with a chance of snow through the weekend. Might see 20 above on Friday, 5 to 10 above Saturday through Tuesday. Air index is good in Fairbanks and North Pole, and the aurora forecast is active. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. And remember, if you want more news, sports, or weather, just download our free mobile app for Android and Apple devices. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.